Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Amnesia the Bunker. Last time we left off, we found out that we needed to get into communications. Uh, and there's also something I can blow the, the thing off of there in communications as well. Um, we need to activate the radio in communications specifically though, which requires that we go into the utility room. Uh, so I guess we're going to work on that today. Uh, what did I have in the old inventory here? Not a ton of things. I'm going to be using a loud weapon, so... Um, I don't much feel the need to turn my, uh... Um, whatchamacallit on. Because the thing's just gonna come after me anyway. So, uh... Let's, uh, let's get through here and see what we got. I have my handy dandy gun, which I can shoot the stupid thing with now, too. So that'll be helpful as well. But we gotta get into communications and we gotta blow open that thing and then probably hide under the desk that's in there. Um, I might even be able to shoot it from the desk. Uh, which would be convenient, I suppose. But we'll see how things go. I hear it. It's doing its thing. It's walking around, it is. Alright. Good stuff. So, yeah, this is what I need to hit specifically. I suppose I could hide in here. Um, as opposed to under the desk. I'm unsure which one will be better. Maybe we move this over there to... Give me a little bit easier of a shot. Be a bit easier to hit it, I think, if, uh, if I'm aiming for that. So... If you came up here, that would be even better. Because then I could blow you up. Come up here, you big doofus. Do it. Oh, I love that you can come out of that. Okay, let's see if this hurts me. If it destroys my desk, I'm kind of boned. Don't worry about me. That definitely opened that thing up. Okay, you should be like right there. Yeah, you're right there. Hi. Yeah, if we look at the wall, the vignetting goes away. I think we're not supposed to look at the thing when it's in here because it freaks us out and then we start breathing hard. So yeah, obviously it knows something's going on in here. But it doesn't know where I'm at. Hee hee hee. Ho ho ho. And I'm not going to waste a bullet on it when I can just instead wait for it to walk away. Yep, you're over there. <laughs> the vignetting is so aggressive that you can't even see anything when you start to look at it anyway. Come on, just leave. It's a bit unfortunate that you can't stare at the thing. I liked when I was able to stare at the thing, but it seems like the best thing to do is just to stare at the wall. Yep. Like, I can take peeks at it, but... Okay, it's going down there. It's leaving. Okay. Once it gets a little bit further away, I'll turn my light on. Uh-oh. Did it hear that? I think it did. Unfortunate. It was close enough to hear that. Okay, it's left. And I think we're just gonna have to work without the, uh... Without the light for a quick second here. At least while I go and loot this. So, it was this one. Okay, that had something important in it. Good to know. Okay, good, good, good. So what do we got? from that. We can check this out, and then we can be on our merry way, because it seems like it's far enough away it probably won't respond to my thing now. Uh, Alex Noyer. I've spoken to no one of what's written in those texts, I swear it. Oh hey, we're missing part one. Uh, but now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that this might be coincidence, nor can it accept the alternative. 
I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them, warn them. They've punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw, and now Reynard has sent for me. I'm sure I am to be punished as well. Respect between the Germans in front of us, high command above us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in shadows all around us. Yeah. Yeah, that's how a lot of the soldiers were in World War I. I mean, aside from the uh, horrible force that lurks in the shadows, it was very much you being stuck between the Germans and high commands. Neither of them cared about your life, unfortunately. Alright, let's go. We got places to be. I think you're down there. Yep. You're definitely over there. Okay, so if we wait for you to leave... We should be good. Yeah, you're walking around in that hallway. And that's where we need to be. I could shoot it. So if it sees me... I will be shooting it, because I have two two bullets. But I'm not gonna shoot it just as a preemptive measure. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until it actually sees me or something. Yeah, yeah, Germans. Still just walking around here. Annoying. The rats are like, ow. Oh. Uh oh. It just blew up on something. Oh, it walked into something, the doofus. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> you walked into an explosion, you dumbass. Okay, well, that's one of the tripwires gone for me. Great. I think I'm good. I think we're good to... Go ahead and walk down here. Let's, uh... Equip this. We can actually see. And let's get the hell out of here. Why don't we? Uh-oh. It's in the hallway to back there. So we should be good. And it's already exploded the thing over here. So we should be good in that regard, too. The rats are gone. There are some right there, though. That can't be opened. Ooh. Go away! Back away. Uh-huh. We got another one of those. Okay, so that's the thing at, like... Okay, so what I'm gonna do here... Is I'm gonna throw that down there. And then we... Are going to go hide in here. Good. Wait, it saves my torch? Really? Huh. I wouldn't have expected it to do that. Okay, here's the brick I could have used to, um, to get in here. Okay. We have gas and stuff. This is like the toilet. I should equip this just in case the thing decides to come in here. It's like right on the other side of the wall. If you come in here, I'm firing. I'm warning you! Seems like it's back there. Oh, I can't open that door. Hmm. I want to keep the torch and conserve it a little bit. I assumed you wouldn't be able to store the torch and keep its charge. But apparently you can, so that's nice to know. It's like right back here. Uh-oh. It's like right there. Uh-oh. It's right here it is. Yeah, walk back that way. Good on ya. Good job. God, you can't see shit. I'm so sorry. But I'm not- I'm not lighting... ...anything up right now. When it's so close. Okay, it's walking away. Let's see if we can... Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. 
Okay, we got a few things here to check out. Gonna need to get past those rats again, I believe. Um, at some point. Ooh, grenade. Thank you. You know what, let's just take that out right now. Listen here, you little shits. Let me buy. Okay, what's in here? Get the flashlight back out. Yeah, it's far away. I think we're mostly good. I mean, I might as well check these rooms. Make sure there's nothing good in here. Note. Some more gas. What's my inventory looking like, though? We are full. This torch is about out, but we are pretty much full. I'm gonna save my inventory a little bit. Bottle. I would like more notes if I can get them. Okay, this was just another way in here. Aha, and that opens that up. Okay, so now I have another way through. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Okay. More gas that I don't need. Rag. Honestly, I need the rags more than anything. So, yeah. I'll take the rags. Uh-oh. Is it coming in? It's back in the hallway down there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna hide here then, for a little bit, because, yeah, it's, like, right outside. Think we're good? I think it just left. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There was something else there that's just a bottle. Okay. There's not really much else of use here. So let's just get out here and see what we can do. Bottle. That. So yeah, we need to fix something around here. This big thing. Okay. Nothing there. There's a tunnel that can come through. Aha! Yeah, that's a problem. Um... Now what I could do... Is throw a nade in there. Or I could just shoot it. I kind of like using the grenades for this, because... It's way easier to hit the thing with the gun than I feel the grenade. Grenade takes a little bit time to actually explode. And they take up space, whereas the bullets don't. So, I'm gonna use the grenade for this. Again. Let's just make sure... I throw it in the right spot. And my hidey hole is right here. So... There we go. And it's definitely on its way. It's okay, Henry. Henry. We're fine. It's coming right out of that hole right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's getting angry. It just destroyed something, I think. Okay, now it's walking past the rats. Alright, it's leaving. Go through one of your holes. We're starting to learn the behaviors and everything now, so it's becoming a lot easier to deal with. Um, which is nice. Okay. I can still kind of hear it. But I think we're good. I think it's far enough away. My heart was beating a second. Uh-oh. Maybe not? I thought it was far enough away. Okay, now I think it's gone. I hear no more heartbeat. I think it just went in one of the tunnels. Alright. 
Should be good now. So... In here... It's a med kit. Aha! Does this require the whatchamacallit to be on? Well, it's down now. Just came out over there. Hmm. I mean, that I've pulled that down now, so now when I activate it, it should be fine, right? If I go turn the generator on and get the power going, I think we'll be good to go use the radio like it wants me to use. Let's look at uh, our notes and stuff. Um. Yeah, and I still have two more things I can do there. What is this photo I got? No, oh, it's telling me where all the different... Ah, uh, it's telling me where all the different, uh... Yeah, circuits kind of meet up. Uh-huh. And then it's telling me, okay, go there. So yeah, we just activated this, right? Or are we over here? No, I don't think we're over there. I think we should be good now. I think all- I think I've pulled down all the levers. So we should be good to go over there and use the radio as soon as I restore power. Now... The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them, even Yobert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it is on them. God will punish them for what they've done. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. So... I think I might take the med kit. I find myself getting hurt more often than needing fuel at these particular points. So... I think that would just be more useful. Okay, so yeah. From here... We should be good. I should just need to go back now. I should just need to go back. And we can circumvent the rats. By going this way. So I don't have to worry about that. So I can just get around the rats easily. Oh, but they are still walking here. Go away. Away with you. Okay, put it away. Do the flashlight instead. Okay, let's pull this. Now I think what I want to do is get back, activate the power, and then come back down here. And we should be good, as long as I can hit the save. The save is the only thing that stresses me out in this game, because I feel like I want to save constantly, because, um, I don't want to lose progress, and since the game doesn't checkpoint you or anything, like, if it checkpointed you when you did that load into a new area, that would be nice. It does not, though. It's back there. We're good. Yeah, it just came out. Okay. Let's just go down here. Alright, so yeah, it's out there. Um, we're pretty good on fuel right now. So, let's check the uh, inventory over here. So yeah, now when I activate, I've, I've pulled all the levers, so now when I activate, we should be good. We should be good. And everything should work. Unless there's another step that I'm missing here. Which is very possible. Uh... Oh my god. It says it can be poured in bottles or on the ground. So, could I store the fuel? Because we've seen that I can pour fuel from the bottle. It might be worth it. Does it give you less fuel if it's in the bottle, though? Because these are big canisters. That's a small bottle. I'm wondering if you, like, lose some? I could drop the flare. I... I really find I just don't need the flare. <laughs> that often. The flares aren't that... aren't that useful. 
But, like, look at how much gas I have. Let's just do that. And there we go, that fills, that fills that in there. And then I can do that with, like, one more of these. There. So now we have, uh, some extra inventory space to work with. Like I said, the flares... I think I'm just gonna drop the flare on the floor. If I want it, I can grab it from here again, I guess. But it doesn't need to be in my... my thing there. Okay, and then we have two more of these. I have a full torch, so I think I might just make these into a heal. And yeah, this torch should be enough to get me through the last little bit I need of walking past the rats. So we should be good there. Alright, and... Yeah, we're good on ammo. Okay, let's, um... Let's go see if we can get back down there and do this thing that I'm talking about, yeah? It seems like a good call to me. So... I don't need to take the watch with me. I know how much gas I have. It's more than enough. So... Let's just go. So let's see what exactly we need to do. There, did, there was that note mentioning that like you need to do something weird with the things with the power in this area. So I don't know if that's going to come up or something, but we'll see. I'm scared to sprint. But whatever. Walked into the load while pulling my flashlight. Alright, so yeah, we just got to walk straight ahead to communications. And everything should be fine. Right? Unless I need to pull some of these up so that I can redirect all power to communications. Right? So let's let's work with this. To anyone left, the code is three, four, six, zero. 3460. Okay, that did add a code for me. Please, I hope that you can hear me. I hope that you can forgive me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, arsenal code, 3460. Okay. Let's turn you off. I don't need you anymore. So, is there anything else here I can grab really quickly before we get back? Uh oh. I think you're coming out there. Anything in here I want to grab, maybe? A empty bottles. My inventory is already so full. Was that a flare? Great. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and get out of here then. I think we're good. So. I am surprised they don't have the monster ambush you a bit more often, because so far it seems like it is very, very easy to circumvent the thing. Like, it seems like the game could do with a little bit more of like, when you pick up a key item, the monster kind of knows your location secretly, and can come get you. Um, or like the alien, in Alien Isolation, that just, at many times, just knows your location. Just cuz. But if it like popped out from like this thing while I was trying to ferry this back, that would make sense to me. That's kind of what they do with uh, Mr. X and uh, Resident Evil and that's nice because he's still unpredictable. You know, it's not, it, it's, it's a little unfair but it keeps the tension there. Whereas now I feel like I can kind of walk circles around this thing for the most part. As long as I'm just careful and try not to go too fast, we're pretty fine. So. Let's just create our little goblin pile of things over here, I guess. That I may or may not pick up at some point. So there we go! Um, we have everything we need to get into the arsenal now. Um, something I could do really quickly is run over there and see what we can grab from... my locker and the Vols locker. Just while we have the uh, lights on here. Seems like a good call to me. Let's just see what we can get. Alrighty, so... It appears there's also... I, I, I think I left some stuff in here. So... Barden... We have... Laval and Clement. Clement. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Lambert... 
I still never found this shotgun. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's in the arsenal. Okay, here's Laval. Um, codes. 3674. Uh, 3674. Is that a... Gas mask? It's X to equip or put away the gas mask. For protection of the lungs and eyes during a gas attack, usage reduces peripheral vision and hearing. Yeah. I'm guessing we're gonna have some areas where I'm gonna have to go through gas. I mean, gas masks were being used at this point, basically from when the Germans started using um, gas. They started making different things, and it was actually interesting because the Germans had like a very targeted canister system where... I forget exactly the different types of gas, but they would shoot one type of gas that was supposed to make you, like, freak out because it makes your skin kind of burn or something like that. And it, it what, it, what it was supposed to do was make you freak out so that you would take your mask off, and then the second canister they shoot would asphyxiate you. So there was one that was supposed to irritate you and get you to, as a reflex, take your mask off, and then the next one that they sent was the one that would kill you. So there was one that was, like, annoying, and then there was a follow-up one that would do the deed. Which, god, it's insane what people came up with during World War One on new and effective ways to kill people. Um, alright. Um, me. Yes. There's a note. So the code is... 2553. Or 2533. 2533. Three. And we get ammo, ammo, a picture, a note. Okay, these are all good things. Alright, and let's get the hell out of Dodge, why don't we? And I have some more ammo to load into my gun. Which I'm pretty happy about. Alrighty. New notes and all that jazz. I guess I'll go ahead and read these now. I'm currently waiting on a very, very large game to download. So, I had the time to do a longer episode for this today. <laughs> um... Alright. Uh... Ah, it's me and Lambert! Yeah, look at us. Me and Lambert. Uh... And there's me. 8th of July, mid-afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. Routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And, using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> No, Augustin doesn't have a chance, because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid, <laughs> well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line. Them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvelous time. Out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July. Time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Oh, God. Augustin's bunk is... empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Zerzinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if... as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if... All hope was lost. Now, the shelling is starting again. Uh, we'll try to sleep. Is this what you were guilty about? 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now and Augustin has not returned. 
His luck did not hold, and neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it, for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. Oh, it was nothing. A joke. I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought... I, I never thought. And therein lies my sin. You've played a joke. Uh-huh, let's see. still I won't be going. How can I be so sure? You agree to a friendly game of chance to determine... So you cheated in the friendly game of chance to determine which one of you will be going? Um... And you cheated to make sure you weren't the one that went. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So you- that's what you feel guilty about. You cheated someone out, potentially, of ha of, of- of not having to go out there, and instead you go out there. So, uh, I wonder if that means that, uh, Augustine is the monster. Because <laughs> it says it's someone we recognize. What if it's your friend that you screwed over and made go out on the patrol? Oh god. Alright, well. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Amnesia the Bunker. And I'll see you next time for some more. I just stepped on all my shit.